Dean Brady with MMABuzz.com here with promoter Steve Alley. Steve, we're coming off a great show tonight, Ultimate Fight Alliance 10. What are your thoughts on this fight? Good. Uh, the Universal Fight Alliance, only 10 shows in. It was set up to be the precursor to Kickdown 100's part one and part two. We had to put the brakes on Kickdown 100, so we did a filler show with the sister promotion. First time in Denver ever tonight. Very exciting show. Um, the promoter of Kickdown and Universal Fight Alliance. But you do a lot more than that, too. Tell us what other roles you play. Uh, everything. I matchmake. I have trained uh, fighters in a gym that I had. Uh, have ring announced at shows all over the country. I don't think there's an event maybe in this city that I haven't done some work on. And that would include Ring of Fire, Rocky Mountain Bad Boys, Fight to Win, uh, and others. And you have a martial arts background yourself. Yes, in fact, my sensei is Tom Johnson, and I got my martial arts background at Innovative Martial Arts, and that's kind of how I got involved in this sport and involved in martial arts. And it started uh, right at, uh, let's see, I guess it would be 17, 18 years ago. And tell us when and why you started the kickdown promotion. Well. Tom Johnson, who had Innovative Martial Arts, asked if I would ring an ounce inside this 5,000 square foot school that he had several years ago. And I said, I've never ring an ounce, but my love was to be in broadcasting. As a kid, I used to sit in front of the TV and do Notre Dame games, turn the volume down. I'd do baseball, basketball, football. So my love was to get into broadcasting, and he asked if I would ring it out, so I did the first two IMA Opens, and of note, Nate Marquardt made his fight debut on that show, so uh, that's how I got started. And then I did the first one February 23rd of 2002 at the Holiday Inn at I-70 in West Colfax. And do you remember that first show? I do. How, did, how do you think it went? It was phenomenal. It was sold out had about 600 people there in a facility that only would uh, hold 520. And on the event, there was actually seven Muay Thai fights and only two MMA. And the kickdown got started, and it was short for kickboxing and takedowns. That's how we came up with kickdown. It was started out as kickdown classic, and we changed it to kickdown MMA about six years ago. And there's been a lot of firsts in kickdown. Um, first female main event, a lot of other first, uh, first female referee. Any that stand out to you? Yes, uh, many uh, would stand out. As you mentioned, first uh, female main event on the amateur side, first female professionally, first show to have four modified Muay Thai bouts on a MMA event, first event ever that would showcase an amateur world title on a professional undercard of MMA. That was Kickdown 37 at the Budweiser Event Center. And then we did the test pilot of the World Combat League of Chuck Norris at Kickdown 18. Have had many UFC veterans within the promotion like Brad Gum, Pat Smith, Trevor Prangley, Chris Camozzi, Corey Hill, Brandon Melendez, Noah Thomas, and others. Are there any specific moments or specific fights that stand out to you among the top moments or fights in kickdown history? One would be the fight with Louise Johnson, one that many people never uh, saw, happened at Fat City in Littleton a few years ago where Cat Albert Zingano was blasting off on Louise Johnson. And Louise Johnson got inspired by her fans there and put a triangle on Kat Zingano and literally choked her out unconscious and it is the only defeat that Kat has on her record to this point and Kat is really a world-class fighter who uh, now would be ranked in my opinion in the top three in the world in her weight class.